Welcome to Achola. This is some of Achola. <laughs> Apparently there's another bit just down there. So there's not much left here now. This is Achola or Acola. Um, there's a couple of villas and a set of baths. I think that there are mosaics, but those are now in the Bardo. Oh, let's see what we've got over here. Okay, this is presumably where the mosaics were taken from. You can see some of them down here still. That's quite well, well preserved over in that corner. Perhaps this is one of the public buildings. Maybe this is the baths, I don't know. So I think here we are in the baths, one of the sections that doesn't have wind because it's dug in. So I guess this was filled with water. You can still see some of the work on the walls. It's all flaking off a little bit. So this must have been quite a wealthy settlement at one time. I think there was a Roman senator who used to live here in the second century AD. So. Mosaics looking a bit worse for wet. Welcome to Borj Khedja here in Cheba. So this is supposed to be a museum. Um, actually this is a lighthouse on the coast here just by the fishing port. Uh, and apparently it incorporates the remains of some sort of Byzantine fort. But as you can see it's closed. But anyway, looks well restored. Careful. And it's right on the coast. You see the water down there. Yeah, it must have amazing views up at the top. So yeah, if you're in the area, just south of Monastir. Here's the museum at Selecta. See if it's open. So we've got a variety of artifacts here, all the way from the 1st to the 6th century AD, dug out of this site. So I think the necropolis is actually here on the shore, so you can see it outside in the museum grounds. So this is a Punic sarcophagus from the 4th century BC. Look at that wood. It's incredible that that survived. I think this is definitely the highlight of the collection. Look at the size of this lion. This is like 30 square meters. That guy's the size of some people's apartments. What a beast. This is a 5th century AD inscription taken from the baths. Here's a mosaic of the ancient lighthouse that used to be here. And we've got some dolphins chowing down on some octopus there. Delicious. We've now reached the Roman amphitheater at Rastimas, which was called Thapsus in Roman times. Not in great condition, but it looks like it's being slowly renovated. So we're in the Mokmin Archaeological Museum, and look at this. Absolutely huge. 5th century Vandal mosaic. I think this is unique to Tunisia. It's the only place you'll find one. You have to come to the museum here in Mokmen. And they've also got some Punic stuff on display. We've got a whole room dedicated to pottery, which is another thing Mokmen is famous for. So we've got a model in here of a production area. And then we've got a scale model of an actual furnace. We've also got male and female traditional attire. We've got the men over here. 
and then the ladies over here. Now we're going to turn on the lights in the fancy room. We've got the actual jewellery now. <laughs> <laughs>